Let's get them all adopted today. Duck, speak. Free belly rubs. That means she really loves you. I literally was on top of a roof and looked, and he was at the top of the ladder. I want someone to walk me to my class. Okay, we can walk you to your class. He's a good dog, yes. Hello, and welcome to 11 Alive's half hour special focused on the Paula Days. I'm Caitlin Ross. This time of year is about love for our families, parties, and let's not forget the food. Our special friends featured today really love the food. We're talking about our four legged friends that make all of our rough days all the more positive. Let's go, girl. Come on. We want to begin with one special best friend named Blanche. She's known as the golden girl of Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, lighting the halls everywhere her paws take her. Come on, girl, let's go. Blanche is learning the ropes at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Let's make a turn, come on. This golden girl is new on the job. Good girl. And still getting used to the work requirements. Come on, Blanche. While the walks down the hall don't bring her wags. Who are we gonna see today? She sure loves laying down on the job. That means she really loves you. It's an instant smile, so um, that's hard to get in the hospital. Let's go, girl, come on. Handler Becca Greer started working with Blanche as part of her job. Good job, Blanche. As a child life specialist at the hospital on the cancer floor. When kids are petting her, it honestly opens up conversations about how they're feeling that day or maybe something that's been bothering them and they're more willing to talk to Blanche about it than they would be someone else. Oh my goodness, who's that? Blanche is jumping into the job. All right, oh. Blanche, okay. Oh, that was a good, good one. Good girl. Earning the confidence of the kids. She was looking forward to this all day. Even finding a work bestie. Blanche and Michael have such a special bond, like something I've never seen before. Look at her loving on him. She makes me feel happy. She comforts me. No. Blanche by Michael's side as he takes on his new task, beating cancer. Cry. The treatment taking a toll on the 11 year old <sighs> who is working overtime to overcome. She's a good cuddler. That's when Blanche clocks in. You get extra Blanche snuggles to help him through it. Blanche always knows when that time is, right? Yeah. She always she comes to the rescue at the like perfect ready. time. To help him rest. To see Blanche walk in and his face just light up, watch everything just kind of fade away and him be in the moment with her, and that's just a great blessing. I think you guys are the best of friends. Her performance is proven. Blanche was there when he started physical therapy. He's a very determined kid anyways, but then he was really motivated by Blanche. Her work giving the kids on the Aflac cancer floor Come on, girlfriend. the confidence to do the toughest job of all. She's so wonderful at just jumping up in the bed, putting her head on their chest, looking them in the eyes, loving on them. Look at them. I love them. Job well done. Blanche takes her job seriously and is making a serious change for good. Our next pup is doing the same, but for Duck the dog to succeed, first, he had to fail. Take a look. Here we go. Heel. This pup is at the top of his class at Lambert High. He's graded not on writing or algebra. He's earning his degree in love. The love, the friendship, the camaraderie. Start at the beginning. Being with the kids is his calling, but turns out what to call him is a trick question. He said its name is Duck. I was like, Duck? Duck the dog is making a new name for himself at Lambert High. He had failed out of duck hunting school and he just failed little. He failed miserably, like wouldn't fetch, wouldn't retrieve. But that failure isn't a sore subject in this class. Failure, more than not, leads to success. It's a chance to learn something new. He knows come and he knows this, this is sit and then and then I the, like duck heel. Duck, speak. <coughs> duck has taught as much as he's learned in class. When I like feel like calm or something, like when the like, duck like gets like around me. Come here, ducky. Duck supports all the students in Ms. Nicoletti's specialized instruction class. Yes! 
Good job. But he always wants to sit next to Alyssa. She's completely bonded with him and he her. Their bond is strong even outside the classroom, like when Alyssa landed in the ICU and needed help getting out of bed. Her mom asked, look, if I got duck in here, will you walk? And she said yes. When her dad died last year and she really needed a friend. Sometimes when I'm like, like upset about something, he lets come by me. So they go, are you okay? <laughs> With Duck's support, Alyssa is learning what she wants to do after graduation. She said she wanted to work with dogs for a living. And with her transition plan, we're like, we've got dogs. Duck heel. Alyssa used her training with Duck to get certified as a therapy dog handler. Duck sit. The school now works with nine different therapy dogs. Duck come. Helping kids gain confidence and independence. <laughs> Lambert is the only school in the state turning a therapy dog program nice to meet you. into vocational training for kids with special needs. To be on the cutting edge, the beginning of something on your 25th, 26th, 27th year is exciting. Duck teaching everyone that it's never too late to learn something new. It's changed my career. Duck is changing what it means to succeed. Both Blanche and Duck are enriching people's lives, and in some cases, saving them too. Coming up, a pup with a purpose. What's not to love about them? I mean, look at them. How a dog named Knucklehead and his owner found a forever friend in each other, right when they needed it the most. <music> Welcome back to our 11 Alive holiday special. I'm Caitlin Ross. Our next furry friend, Knucklehead, is one of a kind. While the daredevil pup's favorite chew toy may be a rock, he also quickly became the rock his owner needed all along. Knucklehead is a different kind of dog. His favorite snack? Animal graggers. His favorite chew toy? A rock. But Aaron Matthew Dean says if Knucklehead is different, he's a little different too. That's a funny story in itself. They do different together. He's like, oh yeah, I like this. He's better than a best friend. Life before Knuck was lonely for Aaron. He suffered from PTSD after coming home from Iraq. You know, no matter where you go, there you are. And, you know, I still had problems. He experienced homelessness, lost his eye in a freak accident, and became addicted to fentanyl. I was kind of really left to my own device, and it was kind of scary. And really the only person around at that time was this butthead, this knucklehead. Good boy. That knucklehead gave Aaron the courage to get sober. Even after we get sober, life is still difficult. Aaron got clean and got a job started his own business building homes with Nuck by his side. I literally was on top of a roof and turned around and looked and he was at the top of the ladder just kind of looking at me. You having fun, ain't you? It's like a jungle gym, ain't it? Aaron wanted Nuck to take it slow, but this dog has always been a step ahead. What's not to love about him? I mean, look at him. <laughs> Nuck always wants to be right by Aaron's side. I would take my dirt bike out for, you know, hours on end, and he would sit in the window. My wife said he'd sit here and cry all day while I was gone. Come on, let's go. He wanted to ride. Load up. Aaron spent weeks researching safety for his best friend, who started riding as part of his pack. During the whole ride, he's leaning against me. So I think that's part of it is the fact that he's able to just be right there. Together, they're matching green mohawks lighting up the open road. Well, right now, people are smiling. Before, when we first started, people were like, hey, it's a dog on a motorcycle. That's really cool. And now it's, hey, there's Knucklehead. Man's best biker looks a little different on the road, but the smiles he brings to everyone are the same. Kind of brought joy to my heart of like, hey, you know, there's some joy out there that we can spread bringing people together one ride at a time. The most incredible thing is whenever he really just does what he does of being my best friend. Nuck truly is Dean's best friend. 
and a woman named Candace Solst wants more people to find their best friends too. So she set out to get more dogs adopted to loving families by setting sail. Love can't be locked up. Wagging tails and wet kisses aren't meant to be caged. And while well, you can't buy love, at the Humane Society of Northeast Georgia, you sure can rescue it. Oh, we go. One special volunteer helps set love free. There you go. You know how when you do something all the time, you don't realize how special it is? I just thought, this is just normal. Well, it's not that normal. Normal is exactly what the passengers on this boat are hoping for. Clear water calming chaos, waves washing away worry. Bye. Charting a new life course, second chances set sail on the pooch pontoon. Woohoo, let's get them all adopted today. Yay. Candace Solst opening her heart to rescue dogs on the open water. And I said, let me just take them out on my boat. Let's see what happens. She says what happens is magic. She takes the dogs on a rescue ride, landing on a remote island of Lake Lanier. All right, come on, puppies. The dogs have the freedom to run and explore, <laughs> the chance to be themselves. We have a lot of happy tears when we're here because we'll see a dog that might be shut down in the shelter and they're out here and they're just so happy. They've been in the shelter for two months. Yeah. Oh, wow. The confines of a hard kennel cage giving way to the soft serenity of the lake. Out on the water, she captures their best side. Live from the pooch pontoon. Giving families the chance to see their true nature. We'll see if they're country dogs. Yep, they'll play with the stick. They're country dogs. The picture of freedom. A new perspective that lets people imagine the dogs. There they go. Whee! as part of their own family. Somebody in South Carolina came specifically because they saw it on our Pooch Pontoon Live and came and adopted him. The rescue rides navigating a new future. When you see the dogs out here, they just let it go. Setting sail to set love free. It's like when you find that perfect gift for someone, you can't wait to give it to them. That's how I feel every day on the pooch pontoon, because I know I'm giving something that the dogs love, the people love. Putting service first. But this was the piece of the puzzle that was missing. How some four-legged friends are answering the call of duty in a very special way. Welcome back. You're watching 11 Alive's Paula Day Special, dedicated to our favorite furry friends. For veterans, adjusting to civilian life can be daunting. 11 Alive's Brittany Klein-Peter takes us inside a Gwinnett County nonprofit that has equipped hundreds of vets with service animals over the last decade. This place saved my life, and it's and not just mine, many, many other veterans. This is not an obstacle course. This is a confidence building course. For many of us, Free belly rubs. all we need is a little bit of confidence, this is smart. This is a, consistency, this is a and companionship. He's my partner. We hang out all the time. To know that everything is going to be okay. Connection will draw, will draw you away from a lot of mental health yeah. battles. You're going to make a good service dog. And for many veterans, yeah, look, how, look how attentive he is. Like Antonio you know. Merriweather. So when I came here, I was suffering PTSD, depression, anxiety addiction. It was about as bad as I could get. A canine can offer that life-saving connection. Not to say that therapy doesn't work, it does. Not to say that uh, medicines don't work, they can. But this was the piece of the puzzle that was missing. So the one with the ball in the mouth is bubbles? And that's, that's why bubbles. Blake, top dog Rashad, dedicated his career to helping veterans find that. I suffered from anxiety and depression all my life. I always realized that I was a lot more calmer when I was around a dog. He went on to open Top Dog Canine Foundation in 2011, dedicated to providing veterans with service animals. But recently, a lack of funding from donors has slowed him down. So we have these veterans waiting on our list, eagerly waiting and wanting these dogs, and financially we can't provide the training to the dogs to give to them. And that's, and that's frustrating. Who you running to? 
And he's now faced with the unimaginable, giving these dogs away. Know how to get all the pets. And while Rashad sees what he's up against, it's only an obstacle. And he has confidence the community will step up consistently to keep his mission on course. Take a stronger step towards helping veterans other than saying thank you for your service. We love for you to say that, but it takes a lot more to support us than, than a thank you. In Gwinnett County, we're going to fight to keep these dogs. These are great dogs. They don't need to go to a shelter. Brittany Kleinpeter, Alumni Live News. Top Dog Canine Foundation has a goal of reaching $50,000 in donations. You can find more ways to help this organization by heading to 11alive.com. And our furry friends don't just help vets. 11 Alive's Christy Diaz shows us how one special pup named Barney is bringing the kids of a Marietta Elementary School together. How are y'all this morning? Among the pitter-patter of little feet. You want to pet Barney? A pair of paws. You can. Two-year-old English lab Barney is a crisis response dog. Good morning, how are you? Doing great. He roams Marietta City Schools with his handler, Officer Paul Hill. What's up, buddy? Helping to greet students as they walk in. Hey, Barney! <laughs> Try to start everybody's day on a good note. Can I pet Barney? Absolutely. Until there's a crisis. And a crisis can be any, anywhere from a uh, simple temp, temper tantrum to a student that's actually uh, destroying a room, yelling, screaming. You want to try petting? Or it could just be a tough start to the day. I want someone to walk me to my class. Okay, we can walk you to your class. Ready, move. Moseying into action to de-escalate the big feelings of these little people. Something Officer Hill says on his own was tricky and time consuming. When it comes to de-escalating children, we either talk to them or we restrain them. That's it. That's all we got. So he started looking for other solutions and found one in Wisconsin. There's other local news now. One canine officer is using her gentler side to make a difference. So he called up the school resource officer in the story. We, we spoke for about an hour, hour and a half, just about what he did, how he's doing it, how he got to where he, where he was. After years of looking and training, he finally found Barney. The community raised $42,000 to bring him here. Officer Hill says the investment has paid off. So far this year, Barney helps with about six to seven de-escalations per week. Officer Hill says what would normally take him two hours, Barney does in seven minutes. Barney has the ability to do things that just no human can do. A calming presence for whatever Marietta students need. Between training and travel, it costs about $16,000 to bring Barney to Georgia. The school district pays for daily overtime costs required by federal law, and the city bought a new canine patrol car. But what's really special about Barney's story is that it was the community who raised the rest of the funds. Right now, the Marietta School Foundation is selling mini stuffed Barney replicas to raise money for the continued training and care. That information is on our website, 11alive.com. He's a good dog, yes. In this world, anything in life is possible. And when I'm cuddling up to him, I don't know. I, it's, a, it's, it's just like a divine feeling, like he was meant to be with me. But first, a man's final wish for his best friend shows us what it truly means to be a champ. A man named Andrew on a final mission. That's after learning he had terminal cancer. All he wanted was to give back to his dog, Champ. 11 Live Savannah Levens shows us how dogs truly are a man's best friend. I'm what they call an anomaly. Andrew Kuzik is no stranger to pain. Stage four brain cancer, kidney cancer, yep. Bone tumor in my leg. No stranger to struggle. We lost our home in uh, Arizona and had to sell pretty much everything we had to pay for this and all the drugs I'm on. Come on, baby. Champ. But sometimes in our darkest hours, say hello. something unexpected <laughs> gives us a reason <laughs> to smile again. He's a good dog, yeah. There's something about when he's in my lap and, and when I'm cuddling up to him, I don't know, I, it's, it's, 
it's just like a divine feeling, like he was meant to be with me. I guess because I'm a broken soul, if you, if you could say that, and he's a broken soul. But broken doesn't <laughs> seem like the right word. He is so full of life. For two souls so bright. I don't know where my mindset would be if I didn't have Champ. But he doubles the love that I give to him. And despite all that life has thrown at him. I'm the luckiest man in the world. Andrew says he doesn't need much. As little as we have, you can still be happy. I'm ready to go when the Lord thinks it's the right time. Doctors say that might be a year, but before he goes, Andrew does want one thing for Champ. Having no front paws is very, very difficult on his back. It's harder to find a wheelchair for the front than it is for the back legs. It breaks my heart. And if it's breaking yours, just wait. I did have something I want to show you. You want to press play? Hey, Andrew, I'm Coleman Munoz, and I work for Chewy on the Chewy Gives Back team. We'll be giving you a front support wheelchair, toys, treats, and some other goodies for Champ. We wanted to help and support you in any way possible. Yes! Oh, that was so sweet! I don't even have the words, but oh thank my you. Gosh. It's the nicest thing anybody's ever done for us. Andrew knows there's nothing perfect about his life or his puppy. Wasn't it nice? But today brought another blessing. Yes. And today... You're gonna be walking now, buddy. That's enough. What a sweet send-off for our friend Champ. We want to thank you and your families so much for joining 11 Alive's holiday special, celebrating our four-legged furry friends. You can find these stories and so many more on 11alive.com. Happy holidays. I'm Caitlin Ross. Take care.